Putting LEDs in the dog's eyes was pretty fiddly, but not particularly complex. All we need to achieve is that the two LEDs are in series. So that means um, a wire comes up the dog's bum, uh, it goes to one LED, um, from the other leg of that LED goes across to the other LED, and then the final remaining leg of that LED comes out um, as the other wire. So we have two wires that come out, but we've got two LEDs that are being powered. So the way I did that was to send two feeder wires down through the eyes, one, one wire through each eye. Now, we sent that wire the entire way through the dog, out the hole, and so then we attach everything that we need to to those feeder wires. The idea that is that we then draw those wires back through, so then that will pull all the wires through, to, through the eyes that we need. Now, that's nice and simple. Now, something to just bear in mind, that you'll save yourself a heck of a lot of time and uh, difficulty, if you actually put the uh, wire that goes across between the two eyes um, in at this point as well. So what we end up doing is that each connection that we're soldering to the feeder wires will be uh, will have three wires involved in it. It's going to be the final uh, two wires which are going to be uh, coming into the dog, so that's what, that contributes one to the thing. We've got the feeder wire and then we've got the bridging wire, so that's three points per connection. So at that point, we just pull these wires through, uh, we unsolder the connections, and now it's just a matter of keeping track of which wire is which. So we have the little uh, wire that goes across between the two eyes, so that one needs to be on the positive, or sorry, uh, that needs to be on the anode of one uh, LED and the cathode of the other LED, because these two are essentially wired up in series. And then, being consistent with that, we need to wire the positive wire to the remaining um, node of one of the LEDs and then the remaining wire to the remaining node of the other LED. And that's really all there is to it. At that point we can then connect up the batteries and we see that it works. And if I remember rightly I got this to work the first go which was um, quite pleasing. Um, yeah, and then all there is to it is uh, once we're happy with that we just push the wires, uh, well, sorry, push the eyes back in and uh, everything's all happy. So it's really worthwhile putting a knot in the wire that's going to be coming out of the back of the dog, and the idea is that if anything actually pulls on that wire at any stage, it's not going to rip off the LEDs. Now, uh, I have actually told you that one out of order, because that one should have actually happened before you connected the LEDs. But, um, yeah. Uh, now, actually, that's a really good point. The way that I did that, because... The whole thing is that that knot is on the inside, um, so what I actually ended up doing was cutting a big uh, access hole in the bottom of the dog, and so that meant that I could do things like tie that knot, and also made things much easier to feed wires into particular holes, uh, so I didn't have to mess around for too long doing it. Anyway, I hope that helps.